One Night in Miami is about uh, the night of February 25th, 1964, when Cassius Clay surprised Sonny Liston in Miami. Um, yeah. And then, and then uh, based, it's based on the award-winning play of the same name, uh, that uh, Cassius went out um, and celebrated with Sam Cooke and Malcolm X and Jim Brown. And you played Jim Brown in this. How did you approach this role, Aldous? So the research that I started doing initially was I wanted to see who he was in the 60s in this time, this transitional period, as he was about to make <laughs> the leap from, you know, football to, to film. And I believe this would be his last year in football where we meet him in the film. But uh, I studied what his moves were in terms of business and, and, and economics and understanding where uh, he was at on the culture, his views on what was going on in society at the time. So I saw, uh, I researched a lot of great interviews, uh, speeches that he gave, um, interviews I saw on YouTube of him, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's a wealth of not. I mean, he's got autobiographies. He's got, you know, like there's, there's so much work that I could pull from, but I just really tried to specify the 60s and a little bit into the early 70s to get where he was at this point in his life. Well, in, in, in a handful of interviews that I've done um, with him where he was the A, I was the Q in it, all this, uh, I did ask yeah. him once, I'm like, so why did you just leave football? Why did you leave football? <laughs> and honestly, one, one of, I've asked him this multiple times, but this is my favorite answer he gave. He goes, well, you know, I decided, you know, uh, I'm paraphrasing here. He goes, in football, you know, you couldn't be hanging out with Raquel Welch and people saying, here's your coat, Mr. Brown. Here's your coffee, Mr. Brown. That did not happen when he was a member of the Cleveland Browns. That's basically what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I, I'm picking up what you're putting yeah. down, Jim Brown. I'm <laughs> exactly. uh, I can see what you're saying. I can see the, the benefits <laughs> over there. I got you. <laughs> right. It just. But um, did you learn about about uh, how how this one night in Miami did maybe go down and similar to what this play was about and this this film is about? Yeah. So per uh, our brilliant writer Kemp, uh, this conversation is sort of uh, in a reimagination of history, right? Taken from um, uh, different uh, influential moments, but the actual night did happen. The events of what occurred afterwards did happen in terms of Cassius Clay the next morning um, coming out to the world to say that he was a member of the Nation of Islam. Of course, we know later that year um, we would not have Sam Cook or, well, within the year we would not have Sam Cook or Brother Malcolm X with us, um, and then Jim did leave uh, football, and, and he made his transition into to film, and then a few years later started the Black Economic Union. So it's it's I think a really firm and and and, and foundational telling of what the conversation might have been, you know, based off of these men and their exploits and the research done on their relationships with one another. Kemp, uh, he has a background in journalism, and the man knows stories, he knows people, and he's done all the research and all the work, and he uh, he's really an incredible example of how to take lives and exploits and, and accomplishments and, and truly celebrate what that is and what it's done for us today. What must it have been like, right? That the night that Cassius Clay knocked out Sonny Liston. Oh, man. Right? And I then can Jim, imagine. I mean, and, and then Jim Brown was calling the fight. He was ringside for it. Yeah. And then, and then let's so all go hang out with, too. let's go, let's go hang out with, uh, let's go having a party with Sam Cooke, right? And, and uh, <laughs> exactly. throw Malcolm X, in, uh, Malcolm X in for good measure. I mean, my goodness, what yeah. must that have been like? So, so here's how I heard it because, uh, and, and that was actually one of the coolest things to be able to hear Jim Brown, uh, the actual recordings of him ringside and what he was saying and how he was saying it. Because when I did my ringside thing, you know, we we did it and we ad libbed a couple lines and mm -hmm. we did a couple takes, but it, I was really just referencing how he was in in you know during the real event. But as I heard it, you know, don't quote me now, but yes. as I heard it, um, there was no big celebration really planned in Cash's honor because there are a lot of people betting against him. They yeah. didn't expect him to win. Right. So, you know, Brother Malcolm was like, hey, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's go to work because um, I knew they had big plans, of course, uh, which is part of the reason why he was down there, but they, they, they had big plans for the announcement and really discussing it and, um, I just find it fascinating that these four particular men, after this grand celebration, chose to get together this night 
and really sit there and talk about doing work. You know what I'm saying? You just have this great celebration. It's like, all right, now let's talk about the real work that we got to keep doing. We we got this. Let's keep it pushing forward. It's it's really incredible to me because you don't really see that. You know, these men, it's like winning an Oscar and then going to, instead of celebrate, you get in a room with your buddies and say, all right, now, how can we keep making better movies and, and creating better opportunities for people that really need it? Like, that's the equivalent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.